All right, so here is something slightly different for this channel. Um, normally I don't do a lot of these videos simply because I don't know how many views they get. Uh, over Christmas, I was at my parents' house and this saw has been sitting under my father's workbench for years. Uh, and he asked if I wanted it. Now the backstory behind this saw, back in the, and I'll, I'll get into the saw in just a second. Uh, the backstory behind this saw is many years ago, uh, probably the late 80s, uh, uh, my father found this on a job site. He was a, he is a general con or was a general contractor before he retired, and he tried to give it back to the guy that was doing the land clearing numerous times, and ultimately never the guy never came and got it. So um, we used it. Uh, we used it for many years, um, cutting up stuff. I never used it because I was. Um, this saw hasn't been used in probably, gosh, I'm guessing at least 12 to 14 years. Uh, it's probably the last time it ran. Um, what it is, it's a uh, steel 038 uh, AV, which is anti-vibration magnum. Uh, it was built in West Germany, or made in West Germany. Uh, I don't know. I know some of these were made in Brazil, um, and I don't know... Um, I don't know a whole lot about them. Um, I'm not a chainsaw guru. I mean, living where I live, we don't have a lot of trees. So I don't have a, a whole huge need for chainsaws. But I figured what I can do is I can at least get this thing cleaned up. And, uh, you know, it, I, ultimately, it'll probably above my pay grade to get it running again. And I'll actually take it to the local uh, steel dealer. And, uh, but, you know, before I drop it off, I figure, um, figure I'll at least get it cleaned up. I had to, uh, to get it up, to get it up here, uh, from Florida, I packed it in a, in a box. And so I took the handle and everything off. Uh, we do have, um, a practically brand new 20 inch bar. I believe it's 20 inch bar. Um, yeah, 50 centimeters, 20 inch, uh, brand, practically brand new. I think it's maybe been used twice. Uh, he did not have a chain for it. So we may have to uh, find a, a chain at some point. Obviously, being midwinter doesn't really matter right now. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know how to start cleaning this thing up. Um, figure first thing we can do is, I do think this is the air filter. That looks pretty grungy, just like you would expect. Um, I have no earthly idea what I'm doing. I just know it does not run. And so I'm going to sit here and... I may actually uh, do fast forward through a lot of this, um, but I'm just going to sit here and, and work on it and see if I can't, you know, at least get the top layer of crap off of it, um, you know, before I take it in and, and have it worked on. But off we go. So I think the first thing to do is we will take the air filter off. Actually, why don't we just clean the outside of it first? That might actually be the best route. At least makes it look better. If you know anything about these, chime in. Sold originally at H.A. Busby Company. Um, gosh, that company closed... Uh, whew, mid 90s, maybe the late 90s. No, it's got to be the mid 90s. So it's a 38 AV Magnum electronic quick stop. Um, evidently, I did some reading on it. Uh, actually, I've done some reading on it. I've known about this saw for forever. Um, and uh, I've done some reading on it. Evidently, there's Lots of different carburetors and stuff like that that we can get into. Um, you know, I want to be careful taking it apart because I, I don't know what's, what's going on with it. Um, I mean, I don't think it, it should still work just fine. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Uh, this saw did a lot of cleanup. Um, a lot of cleanup from hurricanes back in the mid 2000s um, in Florida, uh, Charlie, uh, Ivan, 
Wilma, I believe. Um, I think the earliest memory I have on it is uh, cleaning up some from a tropical storm, Allison, back in, um, gosh, that was 95. Um, and I did some cleanup in 93. I do know it did that. Um, I'm trying to think of the earliest time I ever remember this saw. Uh, it, sat, it sat in the box for forever. Waiting on the guy to pick it up. Never did, so here it is. <clears throat> like I said, if, you've, if you know anything about it or want to chime in, feel free to do that. I'm, I decided to do this on the back of the truck because it's got the... It's snowing right now. It wasn't supposed to. Um, <clears throat> and so it's kind of one of those deals that... Um, I'll take this top cover off. See exactly what size Torx this is. Try not to get too many parts off of here. Okay, so note to self, there's a wire that leads to underneath this back bolt. Hmm. A little bigger screwdriver. There we go. I was hoping this just kind of slides up, but evidently not. I just remember growing up, this was such a cool saw. Um, just really awesome. I was always really enamored with it. Always thought it was super cool. Put that back. I suppose there's a way to test compression on this thing, somehow. But for now, let's take this air cleaner off and uh, get it cleaned up. I was hoping I could do that with my hands, but... Sorry that there have not been a lot of videos recently. Um, to be bluntly honest, there's lots of different reasons, but I, um, I've been extremely busy with work. And in the, if you can't tell from my voice, I have been sick. And just haven't felt up to it. Okay, there's that. So I'm hoping that we can clean that air filter, I would hope. Now, it has a, looks like a Bing carburetor on it, which is, uh, from what I understand, one of the carburetors you do not want. At least that's from what I understand. But it looks decently clean, I guess. I'm, I don't want to <clears throat> change too many of the settings. I just want to get this thing cleaned up to start with and even see if I can get it running. You know? Because if I can get it running, then makes makes the trip to the steel dealer a little bit cheaper just to tune it. I am not much of a... Uh, well, I'm not much of a gas engine tuner to start with, but I'm certainly not a two-cylinder tuner. That is far above my pay grade or my experience. And I just, frankly, it's not something that I want to... 
I have a desire to learn. I don't I don't have a desire to to learn to about two cylinder or two strokes. Sorry, I'm saying two cylinder because I'm a John Deere fanatic. But I just I don't have a desire to learn about two strokes. Um, just not something that's ever interested me. <clears throat> Plus, I mean, I, I don't the two stroke stuff that I do have. I mean. It's been relatively trouble free. I've done a number of videos. I have all, basically, I have all steel stuff. I have one uh, John Deere backpack blower that is made, was made by Echo. So, but other than that, everything else that I have is, um, everything else that I have is um, uh, steel stuff, so. Well, let me, um, trying to figure out a good way to get this right here cleaned. Yeah, I suppose it's fine. I should probably just clean the air filter and put the air filter back on there before I get too far in there. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to say that we can just spray this air filter off to clean it. At least for the intents and purposes of this video. Maybe the dealer will do something else, but Key thing to remember when it comes to this saw is I have absolutely zero use for this saw. Um, there's not a single tree on my property that would warrant a saw this size. I have a, uh, shoot, I don't even know what I have. It's a steel, I don't know, some type of like, it's a lower, it is a lower model, just regular steel chainsaw. Perfectly fine, nothing wrong with it. All right, let's see here. Is that how it went on there? You can tighten these back down, like so. Now at least it can breathe. put my key back in here nope the other way
so we're going to put the uh, spark plug back in it since I don't see anything too worrisome in the uh, cylinder. Okay. Then put the spark plug boot back on. Nope, can't do that yet. We'll put, um, all right, I'm gonna take a few minutes and I'm gonna clean all this crap up and everything. I don't need a video of that. Well, guy who got really good news, but bad news. Um, I'm gonna hope it does it again. I came out, I filled it up with fuel and I came out here to the back of the shop I was just gonna pull it a couple times just to get some fuel in it, and it actually started and ran. Um, so here, let's do a demo of it. Actually sounds really really good um, really really good uh, feels really nice um, now I just got to get a chain for it and wait for spring to get here so that was actually uh, a lot easier than I anticipated um, it, who knows maybe it would have run if I just put some gas in it because all I did was clean out the the air filter and I switched some gas around in the tank Sorry, it was kind of cold out there. I did switch swish some gas around in the tank, um, and I think the fuel tank is leaking, um, so I'll have to, I may have to uh, have the steel dealer attend to that. It looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like it either needs an O-ring or something. Not sure what it needs, but it is leaking, so that's not all that great, but it runs, that's the important thing. Um, and now uh, we've got a, or I've got a running 038 Magnum saw that I have no use for, but um, maybe I'll find a big tree to cut down this coming year. I'm terrible at cutting down trees, so chances of me even videoing are slim to none because there's way too many, um, there's a lot of really good uh, arborist channels out there on YouTube, but there's also a lot of uh, armchair quarterbacks uh, that uh, think they know a lot and I just don't like dealing with comments. So typically I don't post videos like that. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this video. Really good uh, outcome. And so now it's just a matter of uh, getting some of the, getting it cleaned up a little bit more, things along those lines and uh, going from there. So thanks for watching.